Hey good people welcome back this is Arthur Morris and uh, this video we are going to look at the binomial theorem and expanding binomial expressions and we may even look at uh, Pascal's uh, take on how to find the coefficients when expanding expressions. So first of all the formula for expanding binomials for any positive integer, integer n where we have a plus b to the nth power is equal to n above r times a to the nth plus n above 1 or I'm sorry n above 0 times a to the nth plus n above 1 times a to the nth minus 1 times b plus n above 2 times a to the n nth minus 2 times b to the second plus n above 3 times a to the n minus 3 times b to the third all the way until we get n above n times b to the nth. So as you can see with the uh, uh, binomial coefficient we start with zero and we end up with whatever our exponent is, whatever n is. So zero, one, two, three, four, and all the way up to n. Uh, with the a and the b the first term will start with whatever our initial exponent is, so a to the nth, and then it will decrease by 1 in every term. The b term will start with understood b to the 0 in the first one, and then it, inc it increases by 1 in every single term. So we don't have any b's in the first term, then we have b to the first, b to the second, b to the third, and b to the fourth, fifth, sixth, and so on. The a's, let's say we start at the exponent of 5. We'll start with a to the fifth and then decrease a to the fourth, a to the third, a to the second, and so on. Okay, so we are going to use this formula to expand a couple of binomial expressions. Okay, so we want to expand x plus 3 to the third x plus 3 to the third. Okay, uh, so we have a is equal to x, b is equal to 3, and uh, n is equal to 3. Alright, so we start off with n over 0, so 3 over 0, times x to the third power, because that was our, our exponent, plus 3 over 1, times decrease that exponent of x by 1, and then start with your uh, b, your next term there, that 3. So times 3 to the first. Plus 3 over 2 times decrease the exponent on the x by 1, so x to the first, and then increase the exponent on the 3 by 1, so 3 to the second. Plus 3 over 3, and when you get to where you have the same number above the other number in the by, nomial coefficient, then you know you've reached the last, the final term. So we had x to the first, so now we don't have any x's, and then we increase the exponent on the 3 by 1. So those just go in opposite, dire opposite directions. So we start off with x to the third, then we have x to the second, x to the first, no x's. We didn't have any 3's, and then we had 3 to the first, 3 to the second, and now times 3 to the third. Okay, so now we, that we have it set up, it's time to calculate. Okay, so again, anything over 0, when you're looking at the above 0 and your binomial coefficient, 3 above 0, that's just going to equal 1. Okay, any number above 1 is just going to equal itself in the binomial coefficient. Now let's look at this 3 over 2. Let's see what we come up with. 3 above 2. So 
So remember that's equal to 3 factorial over 2 factorial times 3 minus 2 factorial. Okay, uh, so the 3 minus 2 factorial will give us 1 factorial, which we know is just 1. So let's break down the 3 factorial to 3 times 2 factorial over 2 factorial. And that equals 3. And then the 3 squared there is 9. So we'll say multiply times 9. And then, uh, again, anything over itself, above itself in the binomial coefficient is 1. And then 3 to the third, 27. Okay, let's clean this up a little bit. Uh, understood, 1, so x to the third. 3 times 3 is 9x squared. 3 times 9 is 27x. And 1 times 27 uh, is 27. Okay. So x plus 3 to the third is x to the third plus 9x squared plus 27x plus 27. All right, let's try another one. Okay, here we have x plus y to the fourth. Right. So if you're looking back at the formula, that's A, that's B, and that's N. So A is equal to X, B is equal to Y, and N is equal to 4. So X plus Y to the 4. Start off with 4 over 0 times the first term to the fourth, so x to the fourth. And then we will start decreasing our exponent on x, and then we will introduce the uh, y term and start increasing in every term from here on out. So now we have 4 over 1 times x to the third, and then introduce your second term of y. And then plus 4 over 2, 4 above 2, x to the second, add 1 to the y, the y should start increasing. y to the second, plus 4 above 3, x to the uh, first, y to the third. And then finally, 4 above 4. The x's go all the way out, and the y increases to 4, y to the 4th. Okay, so we have it set up now. So let's see here. Again, uh, any number above 0, that's going to equal 1. So I understood 1x to the 4th. Any number above 1 in your binomial coefficient will equal itself. So that's 4x to the third y. And let's look at the 4 above 2. So 4 above 2 equals 4 factorial over 2 factorial times 4 minus 2 factorial. So we know that 2 minus 2 is 2, so that gives us 2 factorial. So uh, let's break this down to 4 times 3 times 2 factorial. And then in our denominator, 2 factorial times 2 factorial. So I can cancel one of those 2 factorials. The other 2 factorial I know is just 2 times 1, which is 2. And 2 will go into my numerator of 4 2 times. Therefore, 2 times 3 is 6. So 4 above 2 there gives us 6 times x squared times y squared. 4 above 3. 
Now here you should start seeing a pattern as well. If you remember back to the previous problem when we did 3 above 2, we ended up with 3. That's the same thing that's going to happen here. When we have 4 above 3, we should end up with 4. But let's check it and just make sure. Okay, so 4 above 3. gives us 4 factorial over 3 factorial times 4 minus 3 factorial. Alright, so 4 minus 3 factorial is 1 factorial, so we know that's just 1. So let's break the 4 factorial down so I can cancel it with a 3 factorial. So you see the 3 factorials cancel and that leaves us with 4. And then again, any, any number above itself is 1. So understood 1 and y to the 4th. Alrighty, so x plus y to the 4th is equal to x to the 4th plus 4x to the 3rd times y plus 6x squared y squared plus 4x times y to the third plus y to the fourth. Okay, now another method of finding those coefficients, those multiplier coefficients like we did here where we had 1, 4, 6, 4, and 1 is to use what we call Pascal's triangle. And Pascal's triangle is an array of numbers showing coefficients of the terms in the expansions of a plus b to the nth power. If we look down here at this triangle, you see at the top of the triangle we start with 1. And then in the second row we have 1 and then a space 1. So the first one appears is the same thing as a plus b to the 0, which is anything that's equal to 1. And then this one goes with a plus b to the first power. Now a plus b to the second power, I can find my multipliers or for my uh, coefficients by saying 1, you see the 1's are already on, always on the end, and then this middle 2 comes from adding the 1 and 1 above it. So 1 plus 1 gives us 2. And we can follow that pattern. So uh, x to the 0 or a plus b to the 0 a plus b to the first power, a plus b to the second power, the, third, the fourth row here, a plus b to the um, third power, we have 1, add the 2 and the 1, I get 3 uh, here, add the 2 and the 1 on the end, I get 3 there. So 1, 3, 3, 1. And on this next row, I have 1, add 3 and 1 to give me 4. Add 3 and 3 to give me 6. Add 1 and 3 to give me 4. And continue on. So this next one, which would represent uh, to the 4th, I have 1. 3 plus 1 is 4. 3 plus 3 is 6. 3 plus 1 is 4. Uh, to the 5th, uh, 1 plus 4 is 5. 4 plus 6 is 10. 6 plus 4 is 10. 5 plus 1 is 5. And 1. And you can see here on the left-hand side, that the coefficients would match up. So if we look at a, B, a plus b to the fourth, I have a coefficient of 1, then I have a coefficient of 4, then I have a coefficient of 6, then I have a coefficient of 4, and I have a coefficient of 1. Now, uh, what that helps us to do, that uh, keeps us from having to use the binomial coefficient. So you can use the binomial coefficient as we did with the original formula, or you cannot use the binomial coefficient and use Pascal's triangle to find your coefficients. All right, so I'm going to use Pascal's here. We have 2x plus y to the fifth power. So let's see here. So that's uh, a plus b to the 0. That's a plus b, the coefficients for a plus b to the first. 1 plus 1 is 2. That's uh, for the second. 1 plus 2 is 3, 2 plus 1 is 3, that would be the third, 
3 plus 1 is 4, 3 plus 3 is 6, 3 plus 1 is 4, that's the fourth. 1 plus 4 is 5, 4 plus 6 is 10, 4 plus 6 plus 4 is 10. And 4 plus 1 is 5 and 1. So these are the coefficients that I'm going to use for my terms. All right. So expanding this two x plus y to the fifth. My first coefficient is one, and then remember a and b here, and know what your exponent is. So one times the first term to the fifth power. 2x to the fifth power plus my next multiplier coefficient is 5 from my Pascal's triangle so 5 times 2x to the fourth power and then introduce your second term y to the first power then my next coefficient is 10 so 10 times 2x to the third power times y to the second power. Then the next coefficient is 10 as well. Decrease the exponent on the 2x again, 2x to the second power plus y to the or times y to the first power, y to the third power, sorry. Plus 5 times 2x to the first, y to the fourth, plus y to the fifth. One times y to the fifth. So I use the coefficients here. One, five, one, five, ten, ten, five, and one. So I did not have to go through any of my uh, binomial coefficients using the factorials and those rules there. I got my coefficients by using Pascal's triangle. Now you can solve them either way. Either way works fine. So multiply this out. So 2x to the fifth, 2 to the fifth is 32 times x to the fifth. Plus 2x to the fourth, 2 to the fourth is 16. 16 times 5 is 80. x to the fourth, y. 2 to the third is 8. 8 times 10 is 80 x to the third, y squared. 2 squared is 4, 4 times 10 is 40, x squared, y to the third. 2 times 5 is 10, x, y to the fourth, plus y to the fifth. You see these can get kind of long, but hey, it's doable. All right, good people. I hope you found this video to be helpful. See you on the next one. Have a good one. Thank you.